species are Scots descendants in the Falkland Islands and the South Atlantic. Yeah, no, there's uh, quite a few Scots uh, down here, and um, I'm, I'm sure you'd encourage them to, to celebrate today as well. Yes, absolutely. The uh, celebration of music is very much with the fiddle and the bagpipe, but the fiddle, the violin, is the original instrument of Scotland going back to the 15th century. And uh, not long after um, Andrew's bones were taken to St Andrews, of course, St Andrews in the east coast of Scotland, where Prince William uh, went to university recently, uh, and of course engaged to Kate Middleton now. That's the big news over in this part of the world, in fact, the big news throughout the world. But a celebration of St Andrew. St Andrews is also the home of golf, which uh, the saint himself wouldn't play because that didn't come in until the 1400s. But uh, there will be dancing, there will be singing, Scottish music, and of course the food, um, normally reserved for Bums Night, uh, the, the birth of uh, Rabbi Bums on the 25th of January, uh, but uh, there's always good food eaten on St Andrew's Night, good warming food, Scotch broth, that may be haggis, Neeps and tatties with the potatoes and the turnips there. But anything essentially that is an excuse to have a little bit of whiskey. So there'll be a drop of single and uh, um, other blended whiskies being taken tonight as well in celebration. That relaxes people and um, it brings in the, uh, the fertility rites. And of course, if you go right back to the history, you'll find that uh, in parts of Germany, Austria, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland and Romania, there are still super Superstitions that believe that the night before St Andrew's Day, St Andrew's Eve, is especially suitable for magic that reveals a young woman's future husband or that binds her future husband to her. So all in all, a day for celebration, Stacey. Yes, so the, the bad weather over there isn't dampening people's spirits? Well, it is obviously very friendly, but I really think that it would be very, very unfair of me to lecture the good people of the Falkland Islands about weather systems. <laughs> so I don't think we can be seen as moaners and whingers. I think we should be seen as people who have a humility, hopefully, in the way that St. Andrew had his humility, not wishing to be crucified on a cross similar to his Lord and Master. Yeah, well, it's a very sunny uh, summer's day here, so uh, maybe that'll make you a bit jealous over there. <laughs> oh, you lucky things, yes. I'm absolutely green with envy now. I'm heading for the Falkland Islands as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thanks a lot for um, talking to me today, Scotty, about, uh, about St Andrew's Day. Stacey, lovely to talk to you. God bless and um, great wishes to everybody in the Falklands and to all your listeners this morning. Happy breakfast time, I say, and happy St Andrew's Day.